Hey my friends, JR Dukes with JRDukes.com coming at you with another video. Today I want to talk about a fast moving case that is currently being reported by CNN. It looks like uh, the two the two reporters bring in the story is Ronnie Glassberg and Gregory Cleary. This has to do with the uh, Virginia police officers who pepper sprayed an army officer during a traffic stop. Apparently one of the officers has been fired. Now the thing about this particular case is that it apparently happened back in December. I believe it is December 5th of 2020. It is just now basically becoming global, becoming viral, if you will, because it's so outrageous. The videos have been released, and frankly, we all are quite aware of all the issues that's been going on with police and police abuse that has been all over the news. Obviously, there's a need for police reform, for some kind of common sense measures to make sure that we are all protected from the police and served by the police properly. I want to say, uh, first off, I'm not one of these people that believe we need to defund the police or we don't need the police. We definitely need to have police protection. I wouldn't want to have a world without law and order. I wouldn't want to be in a world without people that could be there to help you if you definitely need some help. Having said that, it is human nature that power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And I believe that's what happens a lot of times in these police abuse type cases. Essentially what happens is there's not proper training, there's not proper oversight. When they do something wrong, it's very difficult, if not impossible, to get them uh, fired, essentially. That has to do a lot with the police unions and the way things are structured. And these are all things that we can talk about as time goes on, but these are things that need to be changed. At any rate, the players in this particular story is you have this, uh, I guess he's black and Latino. He's a U.S. Army officer. This has taken place in uh, Windsor, Virginia. It turns out today one of the cops was actually fired following the investigation as reported by the town manager yesterday, which was Sunday. The second lieutenant's name is Karan Nazario. He is black and Latino, and he's suing over the incident back from January, I'm sorry, back from December 5th, claiming the two offers violated his rights guaranteed under the First and Fourth Amendments. One of the officers, Joe Gutierrez, has been fired. The town manager, William Saunders, confirmed to CNN late Sunday evening. The other officer, whose name is Daniel Croker, is still employed by the police department. A statement from the town didn't give a date for the one officer's firing. And, of course, it goes on that they've tried to reach the officers for comment. They're not sure if they have representation. But at any rate, uh, everybody is obviously upset about this. The governor of the state of Virginia is upset about this, and he is calling for an investigation. And I'm sure things are moving quickly. You know, this is a uh, fluid story. It's definitely moving quickly. It's definitely changing, as I said here. Now, in Nazario's suit, which he filed with the United States District Court, now when we're talking about the United States District Court, we're not talking about state court, we're talking about federal court. At any rate, uh, he, this individual's claim, the, the uh, lieutenant is claiming that uh, uh, the following causes of action, which is uh, unlawful seizure, excessive force, illegal search, violating his First Amendment right to free speech, common law assault, battery, and false imprisonment. Footage of the incident has drawn widespread condemnation. And, you know, when you, if, you, if you have a chance, I would encourage you to definitely go to the Internet and look at this video. It is nothing short of outrageous. Basically what happened is this lieutenant was driving his new SUV down the road. He does have dark windows on this particular SUV, and there's no license plate on the SUV where the license plate normally goes. However, as the law requires, because it is a new SUV, he had a license number, or I should say a temporary, uh, like those paper type tags that you may have seen, in his back windshield. However, the window is dark, and it was at nighttime that this all took place. So the officers, rightly so, probably could not see this particular sticker in the window. At any rate, 
the uh, the particular uh, officer. He does not stop right away. I believe the news indicates he traveled for approximately 100 seconds to a well-lit gas station. And let's face it, we are all told, hey, don't pull over in the middle of a dark in street or a dark place if you don't feel comfortable we've been told a million times by the police and just by different people that we hear on tv and on the news to feel free to go to the closest lit place that you feel safe and secure and then pull over and take care of what's got to be taken care of well it didn't work out in this case because it took a hundred seconds for him to pull over even though he was going slow to the gas station they consider this a high risk stop and basically, that gives the police officers an open, open license, uh, an open invitation to treat this stop like it's some kind of terrorism stop of some sort. And that's what they did. They used a very heavy hand against this particular Army officer, and it is just sad. The, uh, this, particular, this particular gentleman would not get out of the vehicle right away. As the officers kept screaming for him to do, he kept asking them, like, what did I do? Uh, can you explain to me what's going on? The officers even threatened his life. They said something to him, if you don't get out of the vehicle now, you're going to ride the lightning. And, of course, that is more than likely an indication that they're going to shoot him, which would make anybody petrified. Uh, I remember when I watched uh, the video, I think it was on one of the other channels, uh, there's uh, one of the body cams show one of the officers responding, saying that he should be scared. Because when they ask Nazario, why will you not come out of the vehicle? He goes, well, I'm scared. And the officer goes, well, you should be scared. I mean, obviously, this would be intimidating to anybody. Just absolutely ridiculous. Also, the, uh, it's a good thing this gentleman had a body camera, or I should say uh, more like a dash cam inside his vehicle, and that he had the presence of mind to turn it on. Because as it turns out, the, one of the police officers actually lied, saying that the Army uh, officer did something as far as like slap his hand or assault him in some way. And of course, the body cam does not show that at all. It's just an outright lie. Thank God he had that video. At any rate, they ended up pay, uh, they ended up spraying this guy with pepper spray as he sat calmly with his hands hanging out of the window. Can you imagine your hands hanging out the window? You're calm, and they they stick in their pepper spray and just keep pepper spraying you in the mouth and in the face. You can't breathe. You can't see. He couldn't open his eyes. And then he had a dog in the back of his SUV, and of course the dog is gagging and can't breathe. I mean, it's just a it's just a complete mess. And then they get him out of the car, and they're basically manhandling him to the ground. It's just an absolute outrage. This whole situation and. Cops will do this a lot. They will try to intimidate you to basically admit you did something wrong when you didn't do something wrong. And if you don't admit to what they want you to admit to, they generally will charge you or find a way to make things more painful for you. In this particular case, what the police officers told this, this gentleman was, hey, if you uh, essentially uh, want to make a deal about this or you want to move this up the food chain, so to speak, and you want to protest it, that's fine. We can go ahead and move forward with additional charges and uh, additional actions against you, which will uh, negatively impact your Army record. One of the police officers even told him he didn't care which way he decided to go. It didn't matter to him because it was basically no skin off his back. He just didn't care. I mean, what a terrible, terrible thing that happened to this gentleman and I hope his suit is successful. I, I'm really not sure how successful it's going to be with all these qualified immunity laws that they have out there now. Having said that, we can only hope that this suit has success. I'm willing to bet with all the attention this particular case has garnered with the outrage that everyone feels about this particular case, I would imagine there's a good chance that the police department or the uh, city, whoever is in charge of the Windsor Police Department, will probably find a way to cough up a settlement. At least 
that's probably what will happen, but we'll see, and I'll continue to watch out and monitor the particular case. At any rate, in videos to come, I'll be talking specifically about what you should do anytime you're encountering police or anytime you have an encounter with police, because police corruption, police abuse is real. The police will lie to you. The police can legally lie to you. The police can do a lot of things that you have no idea that they can do. And you need to learn the skills and the tools that will basically keep you out of legal jeopardy, legal problems. Frankly, you need to learn how to survive an encounter with any police officers. It's just a fact of life. I hate putting it like that, but it's true. So at any rate, do me a favor. If you agree or don't agree with what I have to say or if I've left something out, please take this opportunity and leave me a comment below. Uh, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. My friends, I appreciate you joining me today. I want you to always remember to have that free mind and never give up. I am J.R. Dukes.